Hello guys, and today we are going to be playing Gone Home. So I was recommend this game by some friends. They definitely exist. And I was told it was really good. I know nothing about this game. But I really like this art style. This is a really nice art style. Let's start the game. Did we see the walk? I have to look around. Start. Loading. Long loading times. There we go. Now we're in. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay. So there is no subtitles. I don't... I check. I don't know if they're. If I can turn them on, I checked settings, but I don't know. July 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. That's late. Oh, sensitivity. Oh, God. <laughs> Let me check. Subtitles. No. Gameplay. Wait. No. Let me just quickly bop that down. So no subtitles, okay. So I just click Christmas dock. Right or my or left shift. Okay. Five nine nine. Okay. What do I do with the Christmas duck? Can I put the Christmas duck back? The little Christmas duck. Oh, house key. Right, sensitivity. <laughs> Press one or I to check items in the backpack. Okay. Boarding pass. The passport. So we are. Caitlin. Okay, let's have a little look around here, and in here. What's that? Is it a can? Okay. So can I do anything with the bag? No. Wait a minute. No. So I have no idea what this game is about. Read invoice. Okay. Description of shipping contents. Boxes, kitchen, box, master bedroom. Boxes. Television, television. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. Okay. What in... What does this say? Oh. I cannot read that writing. Left on... Gra crab tree? I cannot read... I cannot read that writing at all. What's the point of examining tissue boxes? Anything in here? Front all. Okay. Close. Okay. Oh, I can shift to zoom in. Magazine.
Don't know why I do that. And aids. So is any of this stuff important to be looking at? I don't think. Ooh, that's a loud noise. Lights. I keep pressing left shift to sprint, but that zooms in. Okay, so it's... Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Is this a horror game? Because I don't know. I thought this was just like a nice, just like, exploration game or something. It looked, I like really like the art style that it had. Sam Danielle from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him, first place, is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Okay. Tis us. Is a horror game? Oh no! And two are in the check right around the house. What's this key? What, what does this key do? Did I unlock the door? Oh. Welcome to Stu. I'm trying to read. We hope that you are as excited for your first day at Goodfell High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder, eh, I'll just... positive attitude, no. What's that talking? Oh, that gave me chills, just... Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. I don't like that noise. I don't... The fact that I have no idea it's a horror game, I have, I don't know. Hey, Mom and Dad and Sam, I'm Paris and many Par Paris and things, including eating La Petite Dindia and I can wear a beret. I laugh from the bell when I get back, Sam, I'm bringing you something from the Shakespeare Book Company. So that she got a No. Right photo. Back. Your obituary. Oscar Doc Mason. Oscar Mason of Boom Company. Uh, is that. How am I in relation? Mr. Mason. 
Uh, you can pause this if you want to read. I'm just quickly skimming over. His nephew turns. I don't like this. I just okay. Did a whole 360 trying to just turn around. Oh, I do not like this. Because it is. I don't want to take any of these off. I don't think there's anything I can really look. I'm only really gonna like read the notes and things that give the story. Oh, this handwriting. <laughs> Dear Sam, it's so good to know to hear from you again. All this new house. Reading this is like trying to read a different language. I can't read handwriting at all. You can try and translate that. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's locked. Can I use... How do I use, how do I use these items? Okay, oh, no, I keep trying to sprint. Oh, it's upstairs. Is there a light switch? How about you not? Ah, oh, my handwriting. Comb. Pen. Is that a door? Downstairs. Okay, light switch. Caution. Radiation, radiation area. What? Is this there? So we make a I, Samantha, am 17 years old. This is gonna go dark, isn't it? This is gonna be a dark game. I am not ready. Oh, I don't like this, Charlie. There's a light switch. Chills from this game, and I don't know why. I thought this was gonna be an. I thought this was gonna be a nice, calm experience. Hug. After the high. I thought this was gonna be a nice, calm experience. Not me trying not to have an aneurysm. Why are you telling me that information? game. No. <laughs> Am I gonna have to hide from something? Don't like this. Why was this light left on? I don't like this. I have no idea how long I've been recording. Danger. Wear goggles. What do you mean wear goggles and what does it mean radiation room? What kind of house has a radiate? No. No. No, I can't handle this. Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school in the closet? Screw off! No. 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 How long have I been recording? I don't know. What in God's name satanic room is over there? I don't. 
like this. Ah, oh, like with layers of fear. I did. I didn't know like everything about the game. I've forgotten like most things since when like it came out. But I knew like a little bit about it. I didn't know where all jump scares were. But this, I have no idea with anything about this game. And I am having a stroke. I thought this was just gonna be a nice game. I'm not. What kind of hell thing do you have in your attic where you have, where you have red lights around it? I don't like the blood in the toilet or in the bathtub that was there. Uh, oh, a tape recorder. Why can't I open the Halloween show? Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. On it. Added to backpack. Uh, items, map, journals. Okay, that's journals. I don't like this. Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Okay, I'll let red, red lights are on. I will not enter. I don't like it. It just randomly told me to crouch. I don't... Mm. What in God's name is... The radiation room. Okay, I thought the music just stopped since I entered this room. Grab Steggy, Steli. I relate to that object. I'll turn off that. I feel like we're gonna learn something bad has happened. And that I do not like. I'll turn off the lights. It said don't leave the lights on. <laughs> oh boy, I'm not gonna regret turning off those lights when I have to brought and walk away at a moderate pace no okay I'm trying to keep my I try not master of time I have disagree mastery is not a question in special question specialization but sureness of purpose and dedication crap if you happen to be in the market for a combination, please find me or something. You can, you can, oh, I thought I said DC better. You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? That's some philosophical stuff right there. Enter combination. Why is there no one else here? I thought there'd be... Probably gonna figure it out why there's no one else here. Okay. Open drawer. I'm probably not gonna search through every drawer. Because there is a lot of drawers here. The killing of J JFK theory. You've seen the movie Discover Truth. I want to try to place the book down. I don't like that noise in the background. Boom country. I don't like this. Oh, it's eleven. Where's the music? Game. Sarah Holes. Not gathering moss. Why not? I 
that voicemail was was distressing. <laughs> Stranger under my roof. Okay. I'm probably going to take the things that look important. Scruff. Nope. I'm leaving you to that. Nope. Where am I in? Where am I down this corridor? Right here. Hopefully there's not a thing about like, oh, everyone in this house got murdered. Oh, boy. I'm... I don't like any of this. Read. Read, sorry. Mm. The heaven at the edge of the world. Sam, grade two. Captain Allegra? Yeah, just Allegra. <laughs> Looked off at the ocean. It just went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. She heard a cannon fire. Boom. It was the black pirate ship, she yelled. I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first island, the first mate said. Looks like he's hot too soon. That's a horrible accent I just attempted to do. Black ship came up alongside Captain Black himself. <laughs> Mmm, that's not a good name. <laughs> came out of the dark, at, came out of the deck of the black ship and yelled to Captain Allegra. <laughs> These names aren't the best, but oh well. Y'all are never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father was a liar. Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? <laughs> Amazing. The first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. No. No, the battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship set sail towards the sunset. Good story. Names. Mm. What's that? There. Terry, hey man, I've been, I knew you're a published author and everything now, but my editor had, at Hi-Fi, F Condo, has too, has too much review work to do, go around, and he's looking for another freelancer. Naturally, I thought of you, you were saying in your cat's, cast letter, how much of a pain it's been trying to public, find a publisher for your latest work of literature. And writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen, in, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds, and then get paid. I'm include some issues of the ma mag to use as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my learn Tell them your old college something Mike sent you. Here's here's the address. Do it, Mike. Well, I do. I just don't trust this. Okay, yep. Nah. You keep your music. That's, that's yours. I'm going to... I'm going to not... I don't like any... I don't... Every time I open the door, I'm having a miniature heart attack every time I open the door. I'm, I'm fine, I don't... What happened to the nice calming background music? Dear Greenbrier, 1976, so this is 1990 No! Alright, I'm informing that unfortunately Mercury broke when it was a publisher follow up to the accident of Para. Despite the low sales of the accidental savior, I have his publication is second book in hopes of the John Russell series catching on. However, sales in the second book and fact lower than those in the first. 
so our stewardship of the series was in here. It's been a pleasure working with your publisher. I wish you and John Russell the best for your junior endeavors. Oh boy, there's a lot of whiskey here. I don't like the random squeaky noises that are happening. Hey, can you... Can you not with the noises, please? Uh, ooh, suspicious door. Katie, please come on down. Sorry about stuff that's missing, Sam. Light is back. Close the drawer. We know. Hi, Lonnie. If you wanted to come over to my house, still, still this afternoon, that can be cool. That would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far, but I don't. I can drive you home too. So hopefully that that's fine. Right back and leave this locker. Still want, and we can meet in the parking lot after school, Samantha. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. And then, uh, then I'm gonna kick your butt. Get ready. You. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Okay. Why is this known as a psycho house? I'm guessing I have to head up into the attic. Oh, okay, it's the lights. I'm having not good thoughts about what's going to be happening up here, but I'm still going ahead anyways. <sighs> Hopefully there's... Oh. Well, what am I supposed to do now? Unless there's something... Unless there's something I'm supposed to find somewhere. Coaster, pen, form. Horse elevation, Richard, Supervisor Janice. And anything interesting that I do. What is that noise? I don't like it. Oh, what's that? Ah, uh, what's this gonna be? Nope. Hell no. Not in the world am I playing that. Nah. 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 Textbook folder. Examine map. Okay. Uh, ah. So, wait a minute. Sewing room. Bathroom. Mom and dad. Mom and dad's room. Library. Okay. So I, so attic is there. I'm in the sewing room, I think. Yeah, sewing room. So we need to go down the hallway into this room. Stop flicking around really quickly. So, uh, I don't like this. No. Examine map. Ghost hunter. Same only secret. Can we come to library? Upstairs hall. Foyer. Some supernatural. It's a closet. 
So, across the thing from that room, and in the hallway there. Okay. Any cars parked on that? Where is the exit? There. This is. I don't like it that much. Well, I like the game. I am not. <laughs> I'm having a mini heart attack over what is happening. So, right over here. Heaven 1905, do not read. Hello, Winnie. The cat's over here. Can you go away, please, while I'm trying to read? No, I'm not trying to pat you. <laughs> Allegra and her scouting party. No. Allegra and her scouting party peer down barely through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest branches. Near feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lushness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra left forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches, the first mate, which had been captured by the green glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. You have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quickly as a breeze through the greenery. <laughs> oh. Reading. Not my strong suit. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted stop. She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. She shouted no and flung at her saber at the Amazonian reaching hand. When it was too late, the first mate screamed as he fell towards the water. Flashed in, it was all eerily silent. I would looked up frozen fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of dark brown hair, just like the first mace, then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat, soaking wet. But his figure stood and the water, <laughs> figure stood and the water poured down. Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. She was no longer a man at all, in fact. But what looked back to her were the eyes, the face, the hair, and the body of a woman, still in the first mate's clothes. Still the first mate, he, she spoke in a soft, clear voice, Captain. The Amazonian queen said, this is our, this is, She is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew a magical flintlock pistol from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life. You can't have her. Okay. Right three times, stop at folder. Okay, half of Sam's lock, locker combo. Okay, so I'm going to get the other. So, basements, I'm gonna go get the other two secret thing. Well, the one that's down here, and I'm gonna end it because I feel like I've been recording for three hours, even though it's probably been one. I, this game is somehow really scary, but also not, there. I don't like that. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I it's really like day. you. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. A 
nice, nice. Okay. So I'm going to end this here. I'm going to head back into the hallway. So there is one more thing I need to collect upstairs. And then I will figure out the lock combination, do some of that. Don't know what I'm doing next. Okay. Bye. I'll end this here. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, gosh.